coach, to the president of the Osprey Club. Uh, shocked that you shared all those stories. Uh, my, my academic field was public administration. I didn't. I don't want anyone to think that I was biased in terms of those <laughs> observations. To you. It's really an honor for a former university president to be inducted into an athletic hall of fame. Uh, as I'm sure all of you are aware, normally such recognition for university presidents would be given for uh, academic quality and development, or fundraising activities, or community service activities. So. This is even more special for me because during my tenure here at the university, we had the opportunity to do a number of very exciting things to assist in the transformation of what I regarded at the time as a very good program. Uh, and of course now, under the leadership of uh, Coach Moon, it's even risen to higher levels. Uh, since uh, you told me that I could talk for as long as I want, uh, you know, it's, it's dangerous to, to give a microphone to a former university president. <laughs> we love to talk, but I am going to be mindful of the fact that there are other, other inductees tonight. But I came to UNF in 1989. That seems like an awful long time ago. When I look at Joby and I see his hair, and <laughs> I realize it really was a, a long time ago. But when I came here, uh, I had four very strong philosophical beliefs that were the foundation for what we were trying to accomplish. First, I felt very strongly that athletic competition, whether it was intercollegiate or intramural, is a very important element of the overarching collegiate experience. In addition to the obvious benefits of uh, greater physical fitness, I think it also teaches the importance of teamwork, <coughs> planning, strategy development, and the need for each individual participant player uh, to prepare themselves for success in competition. It also provides each of us with a lifetime of uh, dealing with both the joys of victory, and you've all heard it, in the agony of defeat. And of course, we did have a lot of the former and some of the latter. Uh, and finally, it also can, can strengthen your alumni relationships, and that was another very important thing for a young university. The second thing I believe very strongly in is that student athletes should be reflective of the overall student body of the university from an academic qualifications perspective. And most important, that they should graduate from the institution. And Everything we did was geared around bringing in outstanding student athletes and doing all we could to assure that those students were able to graduate with a degree from a wonderful university. The third thing I felt very strongly about was that athletic teams should compete at the highest level possible, consistent with the available resources and the potential for competitive success at the national level. You see, one of the things that we wanted to do was to assure that Every team could aspire to and feel that they could compete for top 10 status uh, at the national level every year. And the final thing that we felt very strongly about was that athletics facilities should reflect our institution's commitment to the high quality performance standards and aspirations that we have for our team. Well, th th those were the philosophies, and let me just tell you that when I came to UNF, First thing we did was to talk to an awful lot of folks. I see several of the <clears throat> strong supporters that were here. We simply must have strong support from our community. And from the very outset, it was, it was clear to me that we were very fortunate to have not just the donors, but good friends who shared our passion for building this into a first-class program. Some of them have already been inducted uh, into the Hall of Fame, but I just I have to mention just the names of a few of them because they were so critical to where we are today. Doug and Linda Harmon, we call Doug the big guy. Dottie Dorian, uh, for whom our, the older fitness center was named. Dave Palavina, Jerry Hurst, Roger Wegman, John Clarkson, John Haight, and Lee Longinelli. These were folks who believed in UNF they were committed to doing all they could to help. And I remember, again, when I came to the campus, uh, they're coming in and talking with me. I remember they're going out, several of them, 
to Idaho. Uh, with Tom, Tom and I went out uh, for two World Series events. Uh, we wanted to be there to see a national championship. And we came very close after I left, so I feel cheated. That, uh, but, but the bottom line is that uh, all of them did such a wonderful job to help us, and several of them are over here. I just want you to know how much I personally appreciate all that you did to help us lay the foundation for this next generation. Finally, I just want to say thank you again, Coach, uh, for this honor. And I also want to say congratulations to all of the outstanding, I can't say student athletes now because you're, you're beyond that stage in your lives, but I'm just so proud of all of you. And it's an honor for me to be inducted into the Hall of Fame with each of you this year. Thank you very much.